Well, let me just say this. Uh, I don't know about you, but I was listening to DeSantis. And let me see if we have the longer version of Ron DeSantis uh, giving the, I don't have it, giving the update right before the hurricane hit. It was pretty remarkable. Let's let's actually start on cut uh, 13 as he's talking about looters and criminals. Uh, this is not going to be an opportunity uh, for folks to take advantage uh, of people. Uh, if you think you're going to go in and loot, you got another thing coming. Uh, you go into somebody's house after the storm passes, think that, that you're going to be able to, uh, uh, to commit crimes, uh, you're going to get in, in really serious trouble, and quite frankly, you don't know what's behind that door in a Second Amendment state. So uh, do not try to take advantage uh, of people uh, who are suffering because of the results of this storm. That goes for Helene continually, but then, of course, that will be the case of, uh, for Milton. I know we've already uh, brought a lot of people, held people accountable uh, in post-Helene, um, and we will be very swift across all levels of government uh, to throw the book at people. And, of course, uh, when you make these bad decisions, you're opening yourself up uh, to response from property owners who may be inside that house. You hear what he just said? He is saying justice will be served. It will be swift. But most importantly, we're the second responder. The people behind that door have a right to defend themselves and their stuff, so don't do it. That's an empowering leader. That's somebody. You know, we wouldn't have all of these these uh, uh, conspiracy theories, all this, um, uh, what are they calling it, disinformation. It is not disinformation. It's confusion. A lot of it confusion from what you've said and what you've done. And then trying to explain in our own heads, what the hell is FEMA doing? That's where it comes from. A lack of leadership. When there, when the, when there is no leadership, the people perish. That's exactly what's happening. Notice Florida has a strong leader and they don't have this problem. Here's what he said about FEMA. Now, listen to this. Cut three. Now, people have asked me about, you know, is FEMA going to do this? Just let me be clear. In Florida, we run the show. FEMA's not running the show. We will utilize them to support some of the things we're doing, but you are not going to see FEMA running amok in Florida. I know that's been out there on the Internet. That is not going to happen. I'm the sheriff that's in charge here, and we will make sure to protect you. Don't worry about it. Okay, how can he say those things? Well, he can say those things because he's already proven them to be true. Eden Pure is back with their famous thunderstorm air purifier. It's their top seller air purifier that quickly destroys viruses, odors, mold, and so much more. With thousands of five-star reviews, you know it works. Any smell will vanish after just a few seconds of the thunderstorm being plugged in. Odors, litter boxes, Trash can, cigarette smokes, dirty diapers. Wow, I don't want to visit that house. The powerful thunderstorm sends out O3 molecules that seek out and destroy odors. I have these in my house. They're great. The molecules go uh, behind and under furniture. Nothing can hide from the thunderstorm. Best of all, no filters to buy over and over again, saving you money. Start enjoying your home again and get several thunderstorms. Right now, you can save $200 on an Eden Pure Thunderstorm 3-pack for the whole home protection. You get three units for under $200. Put one in your basement, bedroom, family room, kitchen, wherever you need the air to be clean. Go to EdenPureDeals.com. EdenPureDeals.com. Use the promo code BECK and save. He's already taken before when he was before he said that he said we have linemen from all over the country already lined up, ready to dispatch wherever the storm takes uh, ground. OK, so he was telling people we have this in place, this in place, this in place. And we've seen this now three times with him on major hurricanes. So the people don't have to fear. What they were fearing in other states was FEMA. And so what does he say? And how could he possibly tell the federal government, mind their own business? Because he's a believer in the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights does not have any FEMA in it. The Constitution doesn't have FEMA in it. 
That's a very nice thing for the government to keep us safe. But it is not their responsibility. It is the responsibility of the state government. Everything not mentioned in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, that power all is re- uh, resides at the state level and with the individuals of each state. So what he's saying here is, you're right. You're not going to have a problem with FEMA here because I'm running the show as constitutionally mandated. I'm running the show and we're not going to have any of that nonsense down here. Look at the difference between a strong governor, somebody who knows the Constitution, is not doing what they did during COVID and saying, hey, I'm just going to take power. No, no, no. Everything he's doing is constitutional. When you had a strong governor in California, you had a non-constitutional strong man. That's the difference between a strong man and a strong constitutional leader. And notice where there's chaos and where there's none. Will somebody please recognize on the left that what's happening in Florida is remarkable? That this is the way constitutional republics behave. This is the duty of a good governor. These are all the hallmarks of a really well-run state. He even addressed yesterday the, the vote. Don't worry. We're already working on it. If there's a problem, we will make sure that everyone's voice is heard for the election. The guy is on top of absolutely everything. And then the local sheriffs take care of the rest. As they're giving uh, the, uh, the speeches on sh- take shelter, get out of town, here's what uh, the uh, Flagler County Sheriff Rick Stolle said, listen to this. Come Anyone on. that comes in will be checked to make sure that they are not a fugitive and not wanted, not a sex offender. If you are a predator, you are not allowed at the Rim Fire Shelter. If you are designated under Florida law as a sex predator and you need shelter, you need to go to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility. That's the county jail on Justice Lane, and we will accommodate you in the lobby of that building. Uh, You've probably seen it before, I would guess. So what did he just say? Despite what anyone on the left might say at some point, oh my gosh, he was taking sex predators and saying you couldn't come to the shelter. No, no. I believe God's house is a house of order. There is no chaos with God. Look at the difference between this and the border. What's the difference? Our border is chaotic. It's out of control. Here he is in a crisis situation. And what is he saying? Everyone must take shelter. However, when you're going into these family shelters, if you're a predator, we will be checking everyone's papers. Kind of like what we should be doing at the border. We have no problem with you if you need to take shelter or you want to do it the right way. but. If you're a predator, we're going to check your papers. If you are a predator, we know you're a human being, but you can't be with the families in the mix because you've proven yourself to society that you are not trustworthy. So you need to report here. We'll be taking you to a detainment center where you'll be safe and our families will be safe. Do you see the difference when law and order and the Constitution is actually in play? This is what, Ron, uh, this is what uh, man, I almost called him Ronald Reagan. This is what Donald Trump is, is talking about. We have to return to law and order, constitutional law and order. I did a show on Fox uh, years ago about the pendulum. Do you remember that pendulum show I did on Fox Two by any chance? And I showed how it swings left and right, but it's actually not left and right. It is uh, the we and the me. Those are the two 
uh, ends. When we go too far in the me direction, you get the 1980s me, 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 me. And everything is about me and I only care about my wealth and I don't care about anybody else. Okay. That's the, that's the zenith of the me. Those are dangerous for people's souls, but those times are not usually dangerous for countries or civilizations because uh, you can't gather a group of people to say, yeah, let's go get them because it's all about the individual. Okay. Everybody, it's like hurting. I mean, go ahead. Try to try to whip up all of the libertarians in the country to go and vote for one person. Good luck with that. Okay. The other side is extraordinarily dangerous. It is the we. That's we're currently at the zenith of the we. It's starting to come back. That's you feel it. It's an 80 year cycle. Okay. From point to return. Uh, We are now at the end of that cycle of the we. Those are dangerous. The last one we had was during World War II. The time before that uh, was the Civil War. The time before that was the American Revolution. So you have this cycle that keeps cycling through. The problem is, and this is what I said on Fox, is at some point... If you weaken society enough, you'll get a strongman dictator. And I said at the time, could be from either side, but somebody who will grab the pendulum and say, we're not moving from here because what we have to do is too important and the ends justify the means. It stops the pendulum from naturally swinging back the other direction. And we're right for about a 30, 40 year period, uh, maybe 20 year period in the middle, okay? When it's perfectly balanced between me and we, that's when we're in the safest zone. Well, where, where, where are we right now? Everybody, both sides are worried the next guy could be a dictator. Why is that? Because we have crushed are underpinnings, which are the Constitution. Ron DeSantis, they want to call him a Nazi and a dictator. He's not, he's not demonstrating uh, dictatorial tendencies here. What he's doing is living exactly by the Constitution. You can have law and order and the Constitution. Anybody who says we need, you know, extra non-constitutional powers or they want to change the Constitution because things are so crazy, you're seeing how wrong that is by watching Ron DeSantis. By the way, one is saying that we need to do stuff like this. The other's slogan is, we will not go back. 